Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. The James Webb Space Telescope has once again rewritten the rules of astronomy. With the discovery of MOMZ-14, the oldest known galaxy, scientists are confronting an unexpected challenge to our understanding of the universe. This galaxy's enormous mass and brightness, so early in cosmic history, go beyond what current models of galaxy formation can explain. Instead of fitting neatly into the standard cosmological framework, MOMZ-14 has emerged as a disruptive anomaly. The discovery is forcing astronomers to reconsider the foundations of galaxy evolution and cosmic structure. The excitement surrounding this finding isn't just about seeing deeper into space, it's about the realization that we might need a new map altogether. While MOMZ-14 is captivating headlines, it also joins a growing list of galaxies identified by the James Webb Space Telescope that are challenging long-held scientific assumptions. These include the so-called Universe Breakers, massive galaxies found just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies, similar in size to the Milky Way, appear much too early in the cosmic timeline according to the standard CDM model which combines general relativity with the presence of cold dark matter and a cosmological constant. That model suggests that matter needed more time to coalesce into galaxies of such scale. Yet observations repeatedly tell a different story. In response, astronomers launched the MOM campaign, short for Mirage or Miracle, a dedicated initiative to confirm the authenticity of these high redshift candidates. Are these truly ancient galaxies, or are they optical illusions created by gravitational lensing or observational bias? MOMZ-14, like its predecessors, was carefully analyzed using Webb's high-resolution infrared imaging. The goal? Distinguish reality from illusion in the distant universe. This time, however, the evidence is overwhelmingly in favor of a genuine ancient galaxy. But what exactly is redshift, and why is it so crucial? Redshift refers to the phenomenon where light from an object is stretched to longer wavelengths due to the expansion of the universe. The higher the redshift, the further back in time we're observing. In MOMZ-14's case, its redshift of 14.44 means we are looking at light that has traveled over 13.5 billion years. For comparison, the previous record holder, Jade's GSC-14-0, had a redshift of 14.32, this subtle numerical difference translates to a significantly earlier period in the universe's history. MOMZ-14 likely formed just 280 million years after the Big Bang when the cosmos was a mere 2% of its current age. To detect such a distant object, astronomers rely not only on advanced instrumentation but also on deep field imaging strategies, prolonged exposures in a single patch of sky. These strategies allow faint, distant objects like MOMZ-14 to appear on the cosmic stage. However, what's most remarkable is not just the galaxy's age, but its physical characteristics. Despite being roughly 400 times smaller than the Milky Way in diameter, about 240 light-years, MOMZ-14 is astonishingly bright and compact. It contains a stellar mass similar to that of the Small Magellanic Cloud, one of the Milky Way's satellite galaxies. More intriguingly, its light contains spectral signatures of oxygen, suggesting the presence of multiple generations of massive stars. This implies that star formation and chemical enrichment were already well underway at this incredibly early stage. These signs of early stellar population stay the expectations. Normally, it would take hundreds of millions of years for multiple star generations to form, go supernova, and enrich their surroundings with heavier elements like oxygen. Yet, MOMZ-14 shows signs of this process occurring within a cosmic blink of an eye. This discovery pushes the timeline for star and galaxy evolution back by a significant margin. Such a timeline shift forces a re-evaluation of the rate at which matter could collapse under gravity and cool sufficiently to form stars. If galaxies like MOMZ-14 were already so developed less than 300 million years after the Big Bang, our models may underestimate the efficiency of gas cooling, the clustering of dark matter, or even the role of exotic processes during the universe's infancy. Some theorists have proposed faster-than-expected gravitational collapse in high-density regions or unknown physics that could accelerate structure formation. 
Adding to the mystery is the surprising uniformity of these early galaxies. Despite forming under extreme conditions, some of them exhibit well-organized disk-like structures, suggesting that galaxy morphology settled far earlier than anticipated. This contradicts the expectation that early galaxies should be chaotic, irregular clumps slowly merging into larger systems. The apparent orderliness of such ancient systems indicates a more complex interplay of forces at work during the epoch of reionization. Another crucial aspect lies in the star formation rates observed in these galaxies. MOMZ-14 and others exhibit starburst-like behavior, producing stars at a rate dozens or even hundreds of times greater than the Milky Way. How such intense activity could be sustained in such a young galaxy is still a puzzle. Some models suggest rapid accretion of cold gas or feedback loops where supernovae drive gas out only for it to fall back in again, reigniting star formation. Either way, it implies a dynamism not accounted for in current simulations. Furthermore, these galaxies seem to exist in greater numbers than previously predicted. The sheer abundance of massive galaxies at high redshifts found by JWST implies that galaxy formation in the early universe may have been not just quicker, but more widespread. This statistical discrepancy adds pressure on theoretical models to adapt or risk being left behind by a growing mountain of evidence. The implications are not just theoretical. The standard model of cosmology, CDM, is supported by multiple pillars, the cosmic microwave background CMB, large-scale structure, and distant supernovae. But these new galaxy observations suggest that either our interpretations of the early universe need refinement, or the model itself requires a major overhaul. One possibility is that we're missing something fundamental about how galaxies form under extreme conditions. Adding complexity, JWST's discoveries come as tensions rise in other areas of cosmology, particularly with the Hubble constant. This value, which determines the rate of the universe's expansion, differs depending on how and when it is measured. Local measurements using Cepheid variables and Typus supernovae suggest a higher value than those derived from early universe observations like the CMB. These two incompatible measurements, known as the Hubble tension, have led scientists to speculate whether unknown physics is at play. MOMZ-14 adds fuel to this cosmological fire. If massive galaxies existed so early, then our understanding of the expansion history, matter density, and early conditions must be reconsidered. Some researchers are turning to alternative theories. For example, models involving warm dark matter, which has a small velocity compared to cold dark matter, may allow for earlier formation of large structures. Others speculate on early dark energy, an unknown force that may have briefly influenced cosmic expansion shortly after the Big Bang. There are even more radical ideas on the table. Modified Newtonian Dynamics MOND, once a fringe theory, has gained renewed attention as researchers look for ways to reconcile these astronomical anomalies. While MOND was originally designed to explain galaxy rotation curves without invoking dark matter, some versions attempt to explain large-scale cosmic behavior as well. These theories remain controversial but highlight the extent to which scientists are exploring every possible avenue. As surprising as MOMZ-14 is, it's likely just the beginning. The James Webb Space Telescope has only scratched the surface of its observational capabilities. As it continues to peer deeper into the cosmos, we can expect more paradigm-shifting discoveries. Already, upcoming missions like the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope and the European Space Agency's Euclid are being tailored with these anomalies in mind. These next-generation observatories will broaden our capacity to survey distant galaxies, measure dark energy, and map cosmic structure on unprecedented scales. Astronomers are also re-evaluating data from past missions like Hubble and Spitzer, reinterpreting earlier observations through the lens of JWST's findings. With each new discovery, a clearer, if more complex, picture of the early universe begins to emerge. And with collaboration across disciplines, cosmology, particle physics, and theoretical astrophysics, science may eventually craft a new model that can accommodate these early massive galaxies without contradiction. In the end, the discovery of MOMZ-14 is more than just a new milestone, it's a challenge. A challenge to everything we thought we knew about the universe's infancy. 
a challenge that demands better instruments, bolder theories, and a willingness to revise the very rules that guide our cosmic understanding. With every light year further into space we see, we are also peering further back in time, and what we're finding might mean that the real story of the universe is only just beginning to be told. MOMZ-14's brightness now exceeds many theoretical models. But it is precisely this extreme brightness that makes it invaluable to astronomers. It enables scientists to detect specific spectral lines, distinct fingerprints of elements like carbon and nitrogen, offering insight into the galaxy's internal chemistry. Surprisingly, MOMZ-14 contains a significant amount of nitrogen, which is highly unexpected for such an early galaxy. This elevated nitrogen to carbon ratio is typically associated with ancient globular clusters, dense groups of old stars that orbit galaxies like satellites and are considered some of the oldest known structures in the universe. Globular clusters likely formed during the first few billion years after the Big Bang, and their chemical signatures have long been used to trace the early chemical evolution of galaxies. The fact that MOMZ-14 mirrors this pattern suggests that similar star formation processes may have been at work in this young galaxy, just 280 million years after the Big Bang, challenging our understanding of when and how such environments could have developed. If globular cluster-like conditions were already present in MOMZ-14, it implies that some of the universe's earliest galaxies were chemically and structurally more evolved than previously assumed. When we zoom out to evaluate MOMZ-14's broader significance, it becomes clear that this is not just a single cosmic oddity, it's a direct contradiction to our most trusted models. The galaxy formed during the epoch known as the Strange Dawn, a period when the first stars and galaxies emerged from darkness. In this early era, galaxies should have been small, dim, and chemically simple, just starting to forge heavier elements through nuclear fusion in stars. MOMZ-14, however, defies all those expectations. With an estimated mass of around 100 million solar masses and a luminosity that rivals much older galaxies, it seems to have skipped the expected gradual buildup through mergers and accretion. Instead, it emerged rapidly, fully formed, and chemically complex. This alone raises fundamental questions. How could so much mass accumulate so fast? How could several stellar generations have come and gone, enriching the galaxy with nitrogen and carbon, when the universe itself was barely 2% of its current age? Stellar life cycles typically take hundreds of millions to billions of years, yet MOMZ-14's chemical fingerprint implies that such cycles had already occurred and concluded. This suggests one of two possibilities. Either the early universe was far more efficient at building stars and recycling stellar material than we currently believe, or something entirely different was happening, something not accounted for in our current cosmological framework. Adding to the mystery is MOMZ-14's size and structure. Despite having a diameter of only 240 light years, tiny by galactic standards, it emits enormous amounts of ionizing radiation. This is a telltale sign of intense star formation, likely involving massive, short-lived stars burning through their fuel rapidly. But curiously, the galaxy lacks the expected amount of interstellar dust. In the modern universe, such vigorous star formation typically leads to supernovae and powerful stellar winds, which produce and spread dust throughout the galaxy. In MOMZ-14, the absence of this dust raises the possibility that galactic winds expelled it, or perhaps, that dust simply didn't form in the same way under these early universe conditions. Either way, this anomaly adds another layer of complexity to an already confounding picture. MOMZ-14, then, becomes more than just an early galaxy, it's a cosmic paradox, a disruptive piece of evidence that hints at something missing in our understanding of galaxy formation. It's not alone. The James Webb Space Telescope has already revealed a growing population of early, massive, and chemically mature galaxies, far more than what our standard cosmological models predict. Together, these discoveries suggest that the early universe was not the slow, quiet cradle of star birth we once envisioned, but rather a turbulent, dynamic, and surprisingly advanced arena. The implications are profound. Could this force us to revise our theory of hierarchical galaxy formation? Are we underestimating the role of dark matter or exotic physics in early galaxy assembly? 
or is the standard model of cosmology, our entire Big Bang-based framework, in need of a major overhaul? These questions are not merely academic. They lie at the very heart of how we understand time, structure, and evolution on a cosmic scale. MOMZ-14 and its kin are acting like cosmic archaeologists, pulling the curtain back on the universe's earliest moments and revealing a picture that doesn't match our expectations. Perhaps the physics we take for granted today didn't operate the same way in the extreme conditions of the early universe. Or maybe, as many scientists now believe, we are missing key ingredients, whether it be the true nature of dark matter, the role of cosmic inflation, or entirely new forces of nature we have yet to uncover. But there's a silver lining here. MOMZ-14 and other JWST findings may be disruptive, but they are also invaluable. They remind us that science thrives not on certainty, but on challenge. Each contradiction, each anomaly, is a doorway to deeper understanding. Just as past generations rewrote physics in response to perplexing data, from Newton to Einstein to Hubble, we now stand at a similar crossroads. The universe is speaking, and it's saying, look closer. Here on Spaceverse, we're committed to exploring these cosmic riddles with you, questioning the known, unpacking the unknown, and embracing the mysteries that push science forward. If you found today's journey into MOMZ-14 and the Hubble tension as fascinating as we did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We've only scratched the surface of what the universe has to reveal, and together, we'll be there for every mind-bending twist. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep wondering, because in the vastness of space, every answer sparks a hundred new questions.